So this question is what I call a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. So the graph provided is here. I can tell some things about this graph. It looks like it has a y-intercept here at y equals 2. Um, it has a horizontal asymptote here at y equals 1. But let's read the question and see exactly what it is we're looking to find. So the question says the graph of y equals f of x is shown. What is the graph of y equals f of x minus 2? Okay, well, we still have this y equals f of x, so we know we should have the general shape of the original graph here. This minus 2, right, and this is a knowledge question, by the way. There's no strategy that helps you really answer this question. Um, I need to know that by subtracting 2 from the f of x, that I am just going to shift my graph down two units, okay? So what I'm going to show you here is if, you know, I'm going to show you that I have y equals, let's see, how do I want to show this? Um, I'm going to say a parentheses x minus plus or minus b parentheses plus or minus c. And I should actually make this a plus or minus a, okay? So in front, right, so if I'm graphing this and these a, b's, and c's could be numbers, of, of course. Any number that's inside the parentheses with the x is a horizontal shift, which I'll just write as h dot s. But it's in the opposite direction of what you would expect, right? So if I had a positive number there, I shift to the left. If I have a negative number there, I shift to the right, that, those number of units. Any value here, like what we have in this question, that is outside of the parentheses, shifts up. So I'm going to call it a vertical shift or Vs. And that goes along with you know what you expect. Positive is up and negative is down. Um, if I have a positive out here in front, it's like right way up, basically. And if it's negative, you basically invert the graph to go the opposite direction. It's the best way I can explain that right now. The A here, I'm not going to deal with on this particular video. So for us, all we care about is the fact that this minus 2 is in the same position as the C that I have here. And it's telling us to move this graph down two units. And the best way to kind of keep your eye anchored on a place that's easy to see what happens to the graph when you move it down two units is here at the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, instead of being a positive 2, will now shift down to the origin. And then because the horizontal asymptote was just one unit below there, then it should still be here, one unit below, you know, my shifted down. So my graph should look something like something like that. So looking at answer choice A, that is definitely not it. Choice B, definitely not it. Again, I'm looking for an origin. Yes, I, I have to have a Y intercept at the origin. So C is the only one that does that, right? D takes my origin or takes my Y intercept down to negative two, so that's not correct. So C must be the best answer, right? So just knowing that this is a vertical shift two units down and focusing my eye on the y-intercept and saying that y-intercept should go from positive two down two units to the origin is how I get this answer pretty quickly.